How's it going, everyone? Dry FIFA here. Welcome back to an absolutely, let's say, <laughs> fun episode, hopefully. Because if we can beat, uh, win these games that we have in hand and catch up with Liverpool, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. But nevertheless, we are playing, of course, at Chelsea, at the Stamford Bridge. And of course, you can see what it means for us if we win this game. We'll be, of course, close to Liverpool. Ah, uh, Lucas, man. Ah, the guy is so young too as well. Such an absolutely fantastic talent. And uh, I'm, I'm really happy that he's at the club, to be honest. He's a guy that I really wanted at Manchester United. You can see he's wearing, of course, Wayne Rooney's number 10 shirt. Hopefully some of you guys are not pissed with me for letting Rooney go. Um, but <laughs> he just, you know, it was just about time for him to go. I was getting up there in age too as well. And we wanted to bring some younger players too as well. And uh, the sign that we needed, we needed, of course, Rooney to go to... Of course, bringing some of the players that we wanted to, which are, are, are the future to be, to be honest, because Rooney's getting up there. He's not as quick as he used to be, and it definitely shows in the game as well, um, which is why Swansteg is doing so well in midfield, but sometimes gets caught out playing against teams like Arsenal and so forth. But hey, we've done so well to cope with it, so uh, pretty good this season. Not going to complain. Ah, uh, how are you let him run past you like that, man? Come on. I know he's going to cross it in. Oh, what a save. Come on, come on. Oh, <laughs> we dodged one there. Nice one back there. Nice. Martial. All right. Oh, cross. Go for it. Shaw. Oh, that was so tame, man. And Chelsea bringing him pay throw for William. Hopefully, it's an injury that he picked up because I thought William was one of the better players. But nevertheless, we're bringing in Memphis and Andy Harrow for Anthony Martial. And Michael Carrick because, again, fitness, they're just not playing well. Come on, guys. See, we're way too open. There we go. Look at that. Memphis come back. Tackling win the ball back to as well. <laughs> Absolutely outstanding. And small there, spreading the ball wide. All right. As right, so we can cross this one. Look at the run. Oh, what in the hell? That took a deflection. It had to take a deflection. <laughs> I was trying to find a Ben Yang. That was so bad. Oh, cross it in. Anyone there? Yes. <laughs> yes. And it's off the post and in. Wait a minute. Okay, so it is a goal. Oh, I just saw him standing there. I thought it, the referee called for offside. Uh, but that isn't the case. I'm absolutely ecstatic right now. <laughs> and Neymar with the goal too as well. I believe that's his first goal too as well, if I'm not mistaken. In the Barclays Premier League, he's had some really good attempts and been absolutely fantastic. Even the picking up man after match, um, you know, performance, but just hadn't got the goal to show for it. And if you can get man after match, you know, get man after match without scoring, it says something. And hey, finally got a goal now. Snadden has been absolutely boss in midfield, man. Really good. All right, look at the run there. One time. <laughs> yes. And Abanyang is on the scoreboard. Ah, he was so good in the first half. Just couldn't get anything to go in. And this time, the Chelsea keeper has gotten beaten again. And what a goal that was too as well. Um, <laughs> the Neymar header was a pretty good header, to be honest. But nevertheless, uh, what a ball from Lucas there. Splitting the defense right to him. And look at the curl on the ball. He just hits it and it just swings out and into that near post. Absolutely no chance for the keeper there. And what a goal that is. An absolute cracker of a goal. Look at that. Definitely outstretched. Couldn't get to it. And Quatoa, whatever his name is, is definitely beaten. And hey, we're 2 nil up, man. I win it back. There we go. Rob him off the ball. Nice. Ah, Snandling. Nice footwork. Go for it. Oh, I was trying to catch a keeper out. But a keeper's equal to it. He read it pretty well. And that is it. That is it. We wrap up, of course, our first game of the two games we have in hand and of course guys keeping a clean sheet too as well at chelsea and it's not as if chelsea's playing really bad as though they've been playing of course in the world in, in real life so to speak they're playing well so it's a good result very good result and three points in the back all right guys so as you can see five shots three in target 47 percent of the ball chelsea did have a lot of the possession to be honest i mean their pass accuracy uh but nevertheless we Wasn't too bad, 82%. Um, our shot accuracy wasn't the greatest, but nevertheless, I felt like it should have been a lot more shots on target and shots, to be honest. But you know, the computer sometimes they'll tell you you had less than what you actually have. But nevertheless, Abanya picked up one of the match, deservedly so. He set up the first goal, 
for Neymar. And then, of course, Tate took his very, very good. Lucas came in, did a really good job as well. So, outstanding performance from the lads. This is going to be a tricky one. <laughs> well, I know we are at Old Trafford, but this is going to be a tricky one, man. I just know it because Southampton just always causes problems for me. They're one of those teams that definitely cause problems. And uh, I, I guess in a sense you can say they're kind of like Southampton. And we're playing uh, at Old Trafford, which kind of helps us a little bit. But nevertheless, look at that, guys. Just three points off of Liverpool. So we need to win this game. So if we win this game, we can definitely jump up, of course, right up there with Liverpool. And then, of course, we just have to make sure we win our games from no one then. Uh, nevertheless, as you can see, we are still the best in the league defense-wise. 12, Liverpool can see 20, Arsenal 23. All right, guys. So, we're taking a look, of course, at the squad. Martial in. Neymar, as you can see, and Mata as well. Snadlin, and, of course, Schweinsteiger, the Smithfield. And, of course, Depay as well on the wing. Shaw, Blin, Chris Marlin in the back. Doing pretty well. Um... I'm just dreading that they're going to definitely force one. I'm a bit nervous, to be honest. <laughs> I shouldn't be. But we need to definitely look out for um, Wanyama. Can definitely be a problem. I'll definitely look out for him. Classy as well. Long as well. And they can score goals, man. So we need to be careful here. Nice. All right, Neymar. Go for it. Oh. How far away was that? Is it a replay? I guess it wasn't that far then, huh? Let's see. Dipped. Ooh, look like I'm gonna shave the post. Ah. Still pissed off that the referee gave this freaking foul. Oh my god. It shouldn't even have been a free kick to begin with. And the referee gave it and look at that, they scored. And it's ah oh my god, it's one Yama too as well. Man that I said we need to keep an eye out for it. This is ridiculous. And it's a good goal too as well. I can't even be mad at that to be honest because I haven't considered a goal like that to be honest. <laughs> That's it. I mean, it's a good goal. It really is. Nice one back. Nice. Go for it. Oh, it's off the friggin' post again. What the hell, man? I mean, how many times are we going to hit the post, man? Jeez. And I just thought about it. That might have been one of the reasons why it didn't show up on our um, the list for the last game because we hit the post. Nice one back. Right. Nice. Look at that pass. What a pass. All right. Come on, Cedric. In. Oh my god, a freaking gan. Are you oh my god, I'm about to freaking lose it. Oh and it goes over. I was trying to hit it one time. I was trying to keep it down. Not to put too much power on it. But Memphis puts that one over. Not that far off to as well, but hey, damn man. Come on man. Why is it taking so long? Jesus. All right, guys, so um, Anthony Marshall's off. Chris Marlin, hopefully, a banging can come in and do the job for us. We definitely need to, um, we, we need that player up front with a little bit of more pace because they're just closing us down and just not giving us any attempts on goal. And we need to have somebody a little more quicker, clinical. Come on, close him down, close him down. Come on, Swanee. Ah, uh, it paid off. <laughs> yes. And we are back in this one. Ah, that really sucks because I feel like cheating when I do that. To be honest, I feel like I'm cheating when I do that. But players do it in real life. So <laughs> is it really cheating? I don't know. You guys let me know. Look at that. We're floating in the hair. <laughs> oh, my God. That was awesome. Look at that. What was the keeper thinking there? I have no idea. EA needs to make the, keep, make the keepers a little better. Um, a little smarter compared to when they're doing that. So you can't. It, uh, to, be, to be fair though to them, it doesn't happen as much as it normally used to happen in FIFA 13, 12, and maybe in 14 too as well. 15 uh, didn't happen so much, but this one is 16 has been very hard. All right. All right, run. Come on. There we go. Cut it back. All right, Memphis. <laughs> yes. And just like that, we're up 2-1. What a comeback. The comeback is on. Hopefully now we can hold on for the win. 
uh, you can definitely tell they seem to be shell shock they seem to be shell shock and I uh, Cedric too man I mean like I said the man has come in and he's been doing a good job especially playing against his old team too as well Snadden as well he's been doing a good job playing against his old team so it's really good to see uh, Cedric come in fitting right in and that's one of the reasons why I wanted him because he's already established in the Premier League we already knew he was going to be awesome and there you go happening Memphis back because he was the man that set him up absolutely fantastic goal nice Snadden again like I said he's been absolutely on fire oh just took it away oh it still went in it still went in oh my god it just kind of ricocheted off the players. So I thought they took it away. I went ahead for it anyway. As you can see, let's see they're going to show the replay. Cut it back. And you see, it just, yeah, it just took it away from him because it went behind him. Ball drops. I just went for the shot. And look at that. Right into that far corner. Nothing. Side, side of the net, too, to be honest. And inside, obviously. And the keeper's outstretched. No chance of stopping that one. And Wamata is on the board. Now we're 3-1 up. Ah. Things are going smooth sailing, boys. Smooth sailing. Now, Bastian Schweinsteiger. I spread it wide. Cedric has just been an absolutely outstanding player so far. I knew he was good because I checked the stats out. Ooh, what a save. What a save. Uh, I checked, checked his stats out before I actually bought him. And like I said, him and Douglas from Barcelona. Absolute top notch, man. I'm not even gonna lie. I mean, I'm really surprised that Barcelona was selling, um, was selling Douglas so cheap. I really was. 3.1 mil, and I even wanted to go lower than that, but I'm like, you know what? I'm not even gonna mess it up, so I just didn't. All right, Neymar, let's see if we can get you a goal. All right, let's go. Nice. At one time, so you can curl it a little bit. Oh, keep it to the one out. Trying to go for a little fancy goal. Haven't scored those in a long time. Been focusing on just scoring goals. And it's kind of hard to do on FIFA 16, but the defense, the defense is so good. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Nice. Right. Oh, and it hits the bar one time. Oh my God, what happened? Did the keeper make a save? What happened? Or did it? no? I don't think he put it over. It sounded like he hit the player or the keeper. One of the two, and it came off the player. Okay, so it came off the defender and went out. We'll take it. It's a corner. Not gonna complain. Not gonna complain at all, that's for sure. I will call Nimmer again. You can see they're closing us down and not giving us enough room to do anything. Alright, let's run past him. Alright, go for it. Ah, oh, what a save. A lot of power in that one too as well. Oh, oh the defender just blocked it. Ah, uh, come on guys, let's not concede another goal. Get it out. There we go. Out. Ah, uh, there we go. And the wizard blows. Yes. And we hold down for the win. Uh, it's a massive, massive win because now that means we're on equal points with Liverpool, which is what we wanted. And you can see, look at that. Smalling went off. And, of course, the armband went to Schweinsteiger. Uh, he's been phenomenal in this game. Absolutely no problem with him or the, the, the armband, to be honest. Definitely can captain the team. I just prefer Smalling because he's just been so good in the back line. And it seemed to work in his favor. All right, guys, so as you can see, Southampton had three shots, three on target, one goal. We had 16, 12 on target, 75%, shot accuracy, 80% to our pass accuracy to their 86. So my stack, of course, you see, picking up one of the match. Absolutely outstanding performance. Him, of course, by himself, uh, spurring on, of course, the comeback. Uh, of course, getting us the first goal, standing in front of the keeper, getting that goal. And, of course, he's just been phenomenal. And have a couple of chances, too, as well. He's been absolutely outstanding, so really good for him. I didn't pick up one of the match. Really sad I would concede a goal, but nevertheless, we'll take the result. Not gonna complain. So Liverpool has given us a gift. They have played 25 games. We are on 24. You can see they're on 59 points. That's because, guys, they drew a game. So now we need to make sure we win our next game. Who will play against to, of course, jump ahead of Liverpool, which is what we've been waiting for. So let's take that opportunity. Hopefully, we do. Let's take a look in the bottom. West Ham is in the bottom. Swansea and, of course, Aston Villa. So, Bournemouth finally jumped out. West Ham, Stoke City. Look how tight that is, man. It's going to be so interesting as to who drops in the bottom. I hope Leicester City is not there because they've been doing so well in real life, too, as well. 
All right, guys, so that's going to be our next game. It's going to be, of course, against North City, a must-win game for us. And it's a way to as well, so we know it's going to be a tough one. Stay tuned to see what happened. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And you want to see more. And, of course, guys, as always, I am your host, Dry Fever. Thanks for watching. And, of course, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you so much for tuning in. See you guys later. Peace.